Welcome back, I'm Stick Piano, and this is Total Tactics number 11. This week, I finally took the leap, and I joined the dark side. We have a tactic here with not one, not two, but three strikers. If you've been watching the Football Manager PvP scene, or paying attention to some of the tactics that are populating online... Three strikers seems to be a little bit of the new meta, and so we've decided to throw our hat in the ring here on my channel, and this week, it's three strikers. Now, I've started with a very simple three striker tactic. We'll see if I try to take this even further, but the results of this first shot at the tactic have been extremely encouraging, and I will say right now, this is the first version of it. I built this version, I tested it, and got these results. The reason why I'm making the video right now is that I'll leave it to you to min-max this tactic. If you think you can take it even further, I implore you to do so and post your results in our Discord. The link to the Discord server is down below. And as always, you can download this tactic in the Discord server. It will be shared in the Testing Tactics YouTube channel, as well as a Dropbox folder that you can find the link for on the Discord channel. So I hope to see you there and let's take a look at this tactic. All right, so this is the tactic, and it's just a narrow 4-3-3. Simple, right? I think the interesting thing here is it has eight rolls on attack. So if you take a look at the tactic itself, we have fullbacks on attack, central midfielders on attack, Regista. It's on support, but it's about as attacking as you can get without a Segunda Volante, a deep lying forwards on attack, and a poacher on attack. As is the case with a lot of my tactics, it is extremely symmetrical, and that's by design. So I appreciate... Uh, tactics that are symmetrical. I think it means that you can get come and attack from either side and not be predictable. It also means you can make adjustments easily to slow down on one side versus the other. Um, and, you know, I, it just keeps things simple. And I think that helps a lot with how you play FM when you have these like symmetrical tactics to begin with, because they don't have any glaring weaknesses um, and a lot of strength. So that, that's what we've gone for here, too. You can even see the the tactical style is still the custom vertical tiki taka that I started with when I uh, when I built this. Um, it says narrow two here in the title, but narrow one ever got made. Uh, it got made and then never tested. So narrow two was in fact the very few first tests that we did uh, with, with this uh, shape. So I'm really excited to bring it to you. So if we take a quick look at the instructions, first off, it's on very attacking. So that's also a big thing to watch here, which is not something I do very often. Um, and certainly might be a thing that you decide to change if you want to like min max this, but I wanted to maximize the aggression of those three strikers, especially those deep line forwards. Um, so it plays out of defense, uh, low crosses because we play a lot of through balls. Like there's not a ton of like headed goals in this tactic, which is something you could also tweak to do, um, but extremely high tempo. And we are focusing play down the wings. That is to use the wing backs uh, to interact with those deep line forwards as much as possible to kind of pull and stretch defenders out of position and create wide open chances for that central striker. Um, and it seems to work a dream. Uh, in transition, very simple. No instructions to the goalie distribution. Just let the goalie make those decisions for themselves. If your goalie has very poor decision making, then perhaps you would want to lock in the distribution. Um, and then out of possession too, it's just aggressive high lines with offside trap much more often on the trigger press, which a lot of people have kind of settled on more often uh, being the best way to trigger a press. That is something I generally agree with. However, we're playing a much higher line with three strikers, so I think it's a good opportunity to just get as aggressive as you can on that press with those three strikers pressing high to, like... A, to force those turnovers and get those like steals and immediate goals, but also just to continually force the goalie into a long distribution. Um, and so that way you can win the header down with your three-man midfield, getting to that second ball first, and then transitioning right back into attack. So I do love this like three-striker hard press. So I the tactic, I think, is really good. We got these fullbacks on attack providing the width. They're forming a passing triangle with the CM attack and the DLF. Occasionally, the Regista pulls the ball up through the middle. 
a lot to like. I think a lot that's interesting. That poacher stays home, right? It just runs up and down that central channel, waiting for service from the DLF, waiting for through balls from the CM on attacks. It's just, it's very potent. But let's see a few highlights here to kind of truly fully understand uh, how the tactic attacks the opponent. All right. In this highlight, we're going to illustrate the concept that I just talked about, which is where how the width, especially the attacking uh, defensive players, really helps pull the defensive line completely out of play and creates this like passing triangle between the deep line forward on that left or right and the like corresponding defender. So let's watch this play develop and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. So Di Lorenzo just fires this ball off into space. Insigne runs onto it, right? So we have like, one of the defenders here, we have like Biragi, who's one of our defenders, kind of coming in pretty deep already with this play, just on the ball over the top. And Biragi's going to run into a nice little pocket of space here, which just means that, look at here, we have one, two defenders, and then three attackers. So the two CM attacks and one of and the central striker. And then we have another player, Muriel, in the back post, which kind of just kills Pellegrini's a chance to get involved in this game. So overloading here on Demerol just creates the goal, and that's what's happening here. So you're stretching them from left to right with runners through the box and using width in this tactic to get the goal. So Insigne cuts it back, Biragi's there, and Osiman is in front of the net and scores. All right, you're ready to see eight men on attack because that's what happens in this tactic. Even the Regista gets involved. So we'll hit play here. Kulabayi and Rachmani here playing the ball out of defense. Here's Fabian, the Regista, with it. And now Elmas passes it off to Piscina and Fabi Fabian starts to walk forward. Already we know, right, the swingbacks are on attack. The Di Lorenzo's underneath my head here. But also you've got Muriel and you have Osiman and you have Insigne all on attack up there. Middle. So here we go. Piscina is carrying the ball. Fabian's getting on his horse. Almas already is. And let's see kind of how this play develops. So the ball here goes out wide to Di Lorenzo. Let's run a Fabian check. Here's that Regista at the top of the box. And we'll see what Di Lorenzo does. But also here, like, it's just devastating. Look at the number of options. He's got Muriel here wide open next to the penalty spot. Just like, how is it possible that no one's within three yards of a striker here on this play? There is a defender in the way of the pass, which kind of makes Muriel not the best option, but geez, that's a lot of space. Osiman is, is well marked, but a ball whizzing across the yards at the across the six for Insigne and the back post is an option, but also just holding the ball up, which is what he does. And now we look again, Osiman one-on-one, -on -one, Muriel and uh, Elmas are two-on-one -on, -one on this one defender. These two guys are doing nothing. Um, and Fabian here, again, this is the Regista, Regista check, continuing to advance. And Fabian, the Regista scores from the top of the six. This tactic is extremely aggressive. And if you like to attack and go full speed, this is something you might want to consider. All right, for this goal... Uh, it's just a simple ball and it kind of illustrates the power of the poacher in the tactic. Since you do have the deep line forwards and the center mids to run the channels, you just want that center forward to hold the line. You want that poacher staying right where he needs to be to bang in the goals from the penalty spot. So let's see how this play develops, but it's not going to take long. So Bremer's on the ball. He maybe does a pretty poor job here with the lifted pass, but it does get over the defender and Signe takes a one touch, finds the poacher, Osiman running through on goal, and that's it. It's that simple. I mean, the left-sided uh, defender stepped up a little bit to help defend on Insigne, and that was all the space uh, that Osiman needed. I guess it's their right-sided defender. Either way, the defender stepped up to help out with uh, Insigne being on the ball, and boom, Osiman just shatters the defense and scores. This tactic, super powerful. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, let's take a look at these results. And holy cow, we have won the Elite League on 78 points. It's an excellent result uh, with this tactic. And I was extremely surprised when I saw this come up um, as the testing results came in. Um, not only did we win the Elite League, we finished second in the Balance League, second in the Average League, and we won the Underdog League. So lots to dissect here, but let's take a deeper look at some of the numbers. So when you take a look at the Elite League's tables, we have scored 99 goals, which is pretty impressive, and 30 more than Liverpool managed in the division. So not quite hitting that century mark in this division, which we have done before on the channel, um, but very close. Uh, 55 allowed kind of makes sense since we're playing three strikers against nine other very good teams, um, but... Plus 44 goal difference, tops in the division, so it makes sense that we were able to win uh, seven points clear of Liverpool. When we take a look at the balanced uh, league, you'll see again here we were top, top scorers with 104 goals, 53 against, again, so a, a reasonably high number. We are getting broken down by some of these teams. Uh, for a plus 51 goal difference, though, is still very good, uh, and 79 points. So we are 10 points adrift of Liverpool here, who get a ton of easy wins here. Year. And if your tactic doesn't beat Liverpool, it's almost impossible to win the balance league. We did lose seven times and uh, three of those were to Liverpool and two to Real Madrid. So predictable, I think. So that, that makes it very difficult uh, in the balance league to really win it. And I'm very happy with this result. When we take a look at the average teams league, this is where, again, we hit the century mark with 106 goals. Second place had 68 so with 38 more goals in this division than the next to best scoring team, which was Leicester. We did allow 56, which was in the bottom half of the teams in the division, but that plus 50 goal difference makes it kind of surprising that we didn't win uh, the division, but we were only two points behind Arsenal, so it's not really a huge Huge deal. A few too many draws, I think, in this division. But, you know, I think if we simmed this out four more times, uh, we would win the league more often than not. So the tactic, I think, is looking pretty spicy here in the average teams league as well. And then against the underdog teams, I think think this is a record on the stream, 141 goals scored. Just a ridiculous number. 38 allowed here, which makes more sense because the team quality is just so high. I think we can stop a few of these teams from scoring, um, but 103 goal difference for 88 points. Um, is a fantastic performance in the Underdog League. It's not the best performance we've had. We've cracked 100 points before in the Underdog League, but uh 103 goal differential and 88 points is still very good, far exceeds the minimum threshold for an excellent tactic. So overall, I'm extremely happy with this tactic. And if we look to the stats a little bit more deeply, you'll see that it is that poacher that really dominates the games. 39 goals for Victor Osiman playing as that poacher. Uh, Muriel and Insigne finished in double digits here as the deep-lying forwards, but also racked up the assists. The ass other assists were coming from the fullbacks. You know, both Di Lorenzo and Mario Rui had eight, and then we have eight from Zielinski, another six from Piscina. So the, the midfield and the fullbacks were chipping in. Um, the only other thing I'll kind of point out here is one of the lowest ratings on the teams is the Regis. We saw one of Fabian's only goals uh, in the highlight packages. It's possible this is the wrong role, and that's kind of a place where you can get involved with this tactic on the Discord. Take a chance to min-max it and see if you can beat these results. I think this, this shape has a lot of potential. Obviously, there's a lot of people uh, tooling around with three striker tactics on Football Manager right now, and this test really showed the reason why. So hopefully you've learned something about the three striker meta today. Um, Get involved in the Discord. The link is in the description. You can download this save game file here to do your own tests. You can also download all of the previous tactics from this series and the other series totally rebuilt, which should have another installment coming reasonably soon. Um, and I hope you're looking forward to even more content from me, Stick Piano. You can check me out on Twitch. Uh, that link is also in the description where I'm streaming a save with Esbier in the Danish League. And big news... I'm now the official virtual manager for SBR's esports department. So that's super fun. If you follow me on Twitter, that link is also in the description. You can see all of the content that I'll be making for SBR as well. 
for their social media. So looking forward to seeing all of you all across my socials and other platforms. Um, but for now, I will talk to you later.